Welcome to Ciarán Corla. Um, Minister, like Deputy Crow, um, I'm not long out of the classroom myself, uh, and as such, the topic of education is one of special interest to me. And I welcome the chance to be able to address the challenges posed in the sector by the current health crisis. Um, in the first instance, I'd like to thank the efforts being put in by teachers and educators up and down the country to help parents structure the work they can be doing at home with their own children. Um, I know in my own home, uh, the Padlet sent out by Ms Power and Ms Walsh from Glor Namara are a great resource, even if we, uh, we face the same challenges as every other parent in the country of getting our boys to sit down and actually do some work. Um, I'd like to acknowledge as well the ongoing work of our SEN teachers and the SNAs who are keeping in contact with some of our, our most vulnerable cohorts in the education system. Uh, their role in maintaining that the link with the school will be so important come September when we hope to safely reopen our school gates and return to the classroom. And I very much welcome the, the announcements on the summer provision in that regard. It's intensely important, particularly for that cohort. Um, school principals too have been in many cases busier than ever before in the last few months, even if they're walking up and down empty corridors. Uh, our frontline workers have been consistently praised during this crisis, and rightly so, but it's right too to acknowledge the many people in our public sector who are working quietly behind the scenes to make sure that when our country does recover from this COVID crisis, our state schools and structures will stand ready uh, to resume their important work. Um, Minister, I'd like to begin my questions at third level, if I may, and then work backwards, as it were. Our third level system already looks quite different to how it was even in January of this year, and we're all acutely aware of the funding challenges that are to be faced in the short term as well as the long term in third level. The sector has shown its flexibility in how it has adapted to challenges and possibilities of remote working in particular, and there may well be work practices that never revert um, to the way they were before. So while significant challenge, uh, changes such as we are seeing can be difficult, I'm hopeful that the system will be open to making permanent some of the positive changes that they've made in response to the health emergency. But my question pertains to students who may find themselves in financial difficulties in the, years in, in the year ahead. As raised by Chakta O'Leary, we know that many households have experienced a sharp drop in income over to COVID-19. But I want to refer specifically to students' own income. So, as we know well, many of the summer jobs that tr students would traditionally have had and worked at over the summer in order to save for the academic year ahead, they'll not be available this year. Those are traditionally in hospitality and tourism being the obvious examples there. So, I wonder, has the Minister made any provision to alter Susie Grants or the supports available to third-level students that might be available to take account for that loss of summer income? Uh, returning to the issue of, of the Leaving Cert, and I know the Minister has answered a number of specific queries from the Green Party on this before. Um, like Deputy O'Leary, we do have ongoing concerns in particular around uh, school profiling and the lobbying of teachers um, regarding calculated grades. These are already, I know, on the Department's radar, but I'd ask that they are again given every due consideration. However, I would like the Minister to address the suggestion that I have seen in the, in the media that this year's Leaving Cert cohort may be in some way treated kindly when it comes to grades awarded. I absolutely understand that on a human level. And I think the Leaving Cert class of 2020 have had a, a year like no other and marked by uncertainty and unexpected anxiety. However, I am also acutely aware of others who may have taken a year out from their education after their Leaving Cert, for example, people who did the HPAT exam. And they might find that grade inflation has eroded the value of their results from previous years. So, Minister, uh, can you give those students assurances that this will not be the case and those students won't find themselves excluded from courses that they would normally have qualified for under normal circumstances? On a different note, I'd ask, like to ask the Minister the situation pertaining to students studying a subject outside of school, often another language, or students who are being homeschooled. Uh, I understand. <coughs> These present a particular difficulty when using calculated grades. Um, but has the department worked out yet how these students are to be awarded their Leaving Cert grades? And could the minister provide some details on this? Ara beidir nach lín se shaf fui chorum dhur rain ach madar le kolosti saurig sagailtacht is leirge meg drach chunachar barhu an sauratar roin de rare COVID nedig. Con sample a chort o my yall counter fein manskol San Nicholas a gueltach narinje to fisigom gumrahenshid gumur leshan income a yen in the kolashi sourig doif. So elle gumik tachiach de yi eran gelager gueltach de generalte a ara an megain tachiach specialte er faldas na kolashi sourig shen. 
Uh, account Corla, the primary school classrooms, the space I know best in the education sector, having spent 15 happy years there, is the space I find most difficult to imagine social distancing working in, in a real sense. I don't know how I correct a homework copy from two metres distance, uh, how I tie a shoelace, how I put a plaster on somebody's skinned knee. Um, and you're well aware as well, Minister, that we have some of the most crowded classrooms in Europe and the built fabric of our schools is often dated. I accept that you've laid out some of the steps to be taken to reopen our schools, but I know school principals are, are crying out for more details so they can begin to formulate their plans ahead of time. And in particular, I'm wondering if staggered class times has been taken in as part of that consideration and the work ongoing. Um, Minister, on a specific issue of staffing levels and teacher retentions in school, um, I've been contacted by a number of principals who are concerned about numbers of children who may not return in September, either owing to underlying health conditions, maybe of a fourth or fifth class child, or parents who might decide to defer their child's entry to junior infants for an additional year. Minister, as you, you well know, pod returns on the 30th of September each year determine staffing levels for the following year. So there's up to 400 schools in the country who may be on the borderline for recruitment and retention of staff, and they may find themselves adversely affected if even a small number of parents make a legitimate health-based decision to keep their child at home for the, for the course of September or into October. And so, Minister, is this issue on the radar of the Department at all? And are there any plans either to have a moratorium or to adjust the student-teacher ra ratio, as suggested by Deputy Crow, to take account of this concern and allow, allow schools to keep the staff that their, their numbers deserve. And finally, Count Corla, on the subject of the junior infant take, intake in September 2020, it's important to acknowledge the positive effect that early childhood education and the ECHE scheme in particular has had on children's school readiness when they arrive to the junior infant classroom um, over the last few years. This September is going to look very different, with many of the children having spent nearly all their time at home since March. Minister, I think there's a very good case to be made for extra supports to be made available to the junior infant classroom, even if it's for the first term of the next school year, to help us both answer the concerns of social distancing, which is particularly difficult in an infant's classroom, but also to help with what will be a very turbulent settling in period after a long period of, of unusual situ situ uh, circumstances at home. So has the Minister and his department made any such plans in this regard? So I would like to thank the, the, the deputy um, and to join with the deputy in acknowledging the, the, the great innovative and creative work that, that's going on at a, at a distance learning uh, level, but obviously it's not um, sustainable in the long run, uh, as, as, as both of us know. Uh, the third level questions around uh, how third level has re responded to this crisis. I think they were, uh, it was incredible to watch the process, processes around uh, continued learning remotely and also doing examinations remotely as well. But obviously within that as well, there were the gaps around te technological uh, inequity as well. Um, you're correct in saying a lot of students who would be relying on hospitality and summer jobs, those jobs won't be, won't be here this summer. Uh, but interestingly, a lot of, and there was a lot of debate in this House uh, over the last number of years that the money that students uh, generated was used against them then when they were trying to apply for SUSE grants. But I know you're on about the whole cohort um, and the, there is a fear around the SUSE grant in terms of its determined on 2019 income by parents. But look, their circumstances have changed, so obviously that will have to be taken in, into con consideration. And look, I, 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 your, your concerns around uh, the grading uh, calculation uh, uh, system as well. And I think, I think from tomorrow, once the guidelines come out and teachers have um, a roadmap themselves in terms of the processes, uh, hopefully that will help. And what I will ensure at the heart of all the del deliberations of this new executive office that's been set up is to ensure that uh, fairness and equity will continue will remain central to all their all their uh, deliberations. Um, your question as well around another language, leaving cert grades for, you know, outside of school and tutors. We're going to look at those on a case-by-case -case basis, and that will be uh, very much determined by the information that's provided by the student in terms of uh, learning support. Let's encourage Saru to the card lesson. Ara ta fragrash and can can you shen mukalaki is shonkind. Ach vimi 
a jaguarless, or as a Tesogum Gabe Drock Chinker, in the Kinchiha Lishin Foster, Macanter Hain, Canter in the Giltok de Gunadal, or as an and fall of August and Barna at High Guest and Eschleshen and Leshen and Harrogate, not Nagavayon, August Leshen Kesh, Jerina, Bejugabe, Fragoromo, Kajafagate.